I am now here with Teddy Vall, Head of Aerodynamics and Wind Tunnel at Daimler. Teddy, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. So Teddy, starting off, why don't you tell me where the main difficulties were from an aerodynamics point of view when building, developing the concept IAA? First of all, uh, we had a very high focus on styling. That's just for show cars, it's essential as you can see. Then second, we had a very short development time. The aero styling process is usually uh, a few years and here we had six months. <laughs> and uh, the third thing is we did the whole development out of this short time in CFD, which is computational fluid dynamics. And uh, uh, this was uh, never done uh, on a car all the time in CFD. So Teddy, why don't you give me a quick rundown through all of those key aerodynamic features and how they work? Okay, we have five aerodynamic features on that car. Let's start in the front. We have this uh, automatic grill shutter system in, in the very first uh, uh, area of the car. Um, kind of little diamond flaps that close uh, the cool, cooling air intake. Um, then we have uh, below the, the front lid spoiler and uh, that um, retracts at higher speeds and gives a better in air inflow in the underbody. We have these active front flaps, uh, which move a little outward and backward mm -hmm. and lead the air perfectly over the front wheel and the rim, uh, which goes then at higher speeds from the um, styling mode uh, with a d deep bowling uh, via centrifugal forces to a perfect aero disc. And at the end, we have the um, rear end extension, which protrudes out of the car approximately 400 millimeters and uh, shape a perfect aero tail. A digitally completely transformable vehicle. Still, the question now is what is your most favorite feature, the one you're proud of most? Uh, I think. These are the front flaps and the rear end extension because they are very special. The front flaps we have never seen before and uh, rear end extension uh, with these refined eight pieces moving together is also a very new and uh, yeah, a technical highlight. We see here a beautiful combination of aerodynamics and design. Yeah. What were the challenges in matching up these two? I think the big challenge was the rear end extension um, because there um, we had to fulfill a perfect styling in the aero mode and from an aerodynamic point of view it has to be completely closed. So uh, this works in aero mode only when the rear end is completely closed and that was very tricky and took a few weeks to find this final solution. I can imagine now which one of these features we've just mentioned might we actually currently find in the Mercedes-Benz production car range? Yeah, currently we find the cooler shutters. We have it in almost all Mercedes-Benz production cars, but it is a little behind, so you can't see it as a customer. It's a cooler shutter in the radiator system and with a new C-Class, uh, that was the first car worldwide where we put the uh, the cooler shutter in the first uh, area, in the, in the first frontal uh, style, and the air panel in the new C-Class, you see it there. And here we have a new interpretation of the air panel with lots of uh, nice segments very close to the, the diamond grill we have in some of our production cars. And then I think the right height adjustment which I have not mentioned yet, but uh, this we have in, in many Mercedes cars who have air spring, air suspension. At higher speeds, we lower the car and gain some drag out of that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.